Our next item is nine, uh, item number nine, public comment and items not on the agenda. It is the Council's policy to refer matters raised in this form to staff for investigation and interaction where appropriate. The Brown Act prohibits the Council from discussing or acting upon any matter not agendized pursuant to state law. Would anyone like to address the Council under public comment? Hi, I'm Elaine Maddies, and I had a question about the um, islands that are being torn up and redone and kind of what necessitated that. Um, they seemed to look okay before, and it just seems like a waste of materials and time and everything else. Um, so if someone would address that, please. All right, thank you. Anyone else under public comment? A couple of things on the Proposition 218. Um, you don't have to have, I mean, if you, even if you get less than the 50% um, homeowners to come complain about uh, the rate hike, you, could still, you still could have voted no. And I'm very disappointed, although I love what the council did with, with the um, explosion, and I feel almost guilty reprimanding you, because I think you've been so great with the citizens. I think you're doing a big disservice to the people of San Bruno. And a lot of people are going to be harmed, and you have to sleep with your conscience for what, what you've done tonight. Um, I think it, someone recommended um, having water department employees take a reduction maybe in their salary. I don't know that I would support that. I mean, for years you've known me. I've come to the council meetings. I've always praised the water department um, guys and the sewer guys who go out in the really bad weather. So I would hope that if you were going to be reducing any salaries in the water department or the sewer department, it would be more on the upper echelon of the workers. And lastly, um, you know, I've been uh, opposed to redevelopment for years, and I've been active in, in a statewide way. Um, I always had this great feeling, oh, now that we don't have redevelopment anymore, we can use the salaries, which are over $200,000 for some of the um, redevelopment people, we could use the salaries to help us financially. Um, the redevelopment people that I know were hired when we enacted redevelopment. I think it was 99 or 2000, I don't remember. And they were full-time full redevelopment people. So I'm thinking maybe if they're not going to need a job anymore, we could use their salaries. Now I'm being told that we're going to be trying to find other jobs for them or maybe they were doing part of the work of another employee. Well, if they were doing part of the work of another employer and now they don't have any redevelopment work, maybe you just have to have them a third of the time or half the time. Thank you. All right, thank you. Anyone else under public comment? My name is Hank Trapp on Fasman. I just want to thank you, city council members, for voting for that water. You did a fine job. And I'd like to know about this $50,000 a month we're paying for that new police station for 30 years. Am I wrong on that? And also, you did another blunder. After 30 years, what do you get to show for it? Nothing. That's a, and that's a dumb place to put it. That's a bad place. You could have rebuilt the one where it's at now, up, down, anyway. But you're paying $50,000 a month for 30 years. Also, you did another blunder, too, with the Wells Fargo Bank. You bought that in San Mateo. You spent all kinds of money for that bank, and nobody would buy it, so you tore it down and made a mini park. I mean, this is money wasted. And what about the employee who lost his house and loan? You had to put up a couple hundred thousand dollars to, to finance the house, and you lost it. You had foreclosure or something, or you had to buy it or something. But that's a lot of money. I mean, you guys make some bad mistakes. And I want to thank you three for voting the way you did. You never mentioned anything about that $70 million you got. I can bet you're going to build a library. And, you know, we don't need libraries today. Everybody's on that Kindle. Books are becoming obsolete. But thank you. Huh? We're going to go to the ballot box. We're going to see. Thank you. Anyone else under public comment? Yes? Tell us your name again. Uh, Sean Conley. 
Um, I don't believe I uh, got an answer to uh, my question. <laughs> Sean's right. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Um, I, I asked uh, if um, the citizens were to uh, try to help uh, control the uh, the um, costs, uh, what would we do? Okay, let's do this, Sean. Since this is public comment, that was on the agenda. Why don't you step aside and let the Sorry. last person speak, and then Never we'll mind. just get an answer for you, okay? Russell Steins, um, I'm just trying to figure out <clears throat> that uh, the three of you voted yes and two of you voted no and I'm, I'm wondering how you all sat together for so long and didn't come up with a unanimous yes or no here and I, I just I, I don't understand how you're not hearing anything anybody's saying here I, I know you're looking out for the city but you know somebody just told you that hey you're worried about being sued by the sewer company by from sewer overflows that's your main concern we can address that one, but let's hold off on the other stuff right now because the economy is in the tank and people are losing their jobs and people are losing their homes. And what's going to end up happening is you keep doing what you're doing, you ain't going to have any place to supply water to because nobody's going to be here. So keep it up. Good job. Thank you. Could Step uh, address Sean's uh, comment? Yes, and uh, thank you for stepping back to the podium and reminding us of that question. Uh, there are several things that residents can do. First and foremost, uh, within their own personal households, residents can uh, undertake any of a number of different measures to conserve water consumption. Uh, that will reduce the individual household's exposure to cost both on the water and the wastewater side, given that our wastewater rates are calculated uh, in part also on the basis of water consumption. Um, but more to the point that I think the um, gentleman raised, uh, what can residents do to assist in maintaining the overall cost of the system at the lowest possible amount? And I think uh, a couple of things immediately popped to mind, and would, I, I think it's a provocative question. We, we, we will do some more thinking about that and, and provide additional information to the public. Um, first, one thing that residents can do is to proactively observe their neighborhoods and the area around them and report as quickly as possible any anomalies or upsets that they observe, either uh, the potential for water leaks or for uh, sanitary sewer uh, upsets of any type. Um, generally, those signs are, um, uh, they can be at first um, uh, smaller. Uh, a, a potential a depression in the street could, could result, it could, could mean that there's an underground failure of some type, some sort of a leakage. Um, obviously, unexplained uh, water in the street or in, uh, in other areas of the community. Um, and beyond that, there is, uh, particularly on the wastewater side, uh, our system is plagued uh, in, in some cases by uh, um, t inappropriate disposal of uh, materials in the, in the sanitary sewer system, putting things that don't belong um, down the toilet, uh, bluntly. Um, uh, otherwise obstructing the, the system with uh, inappropriate use of, of the infrastructure and um, uh, in a, improper disposal of uh, fats, oil, and grease. So there, we will, uh, I, again, I commend you for your uh, proactive consideration of uh, not only how to minimize your own personal household's uh, cost and utilization, but uh, please look for, we actually have a, a really good video that we play from time to time on channel one that talks about how uh, ordinary citizens can be good stewards of our water and wastewater supplies or systems. And uh, we, will, we will look to that venue and to others to disseminate additional information as we're able to put it together. All right, thank you. Sean, does that answer your question? Okay, and if you need any more information, just come to City Hall and we'll fix you up, okay? Thank you. Uh, Audrey, I think you had a comment under public comment. Um, there is one way to, to change the vote. I think if, um, if the community came all together, I don't know how to do this, but we can start an initiative 
to overturn the decision tonight. Thank you. City Attorney, did you have some uh, results? Yes, uh, not exactly sure what you're referring to, but you may have been looking at the section of Prop 218 that relates to a vote of the electorate for taxes, which does require two-thirds vote for passage. With respect to ordinances adopted by the City Council, three affirmative votes are necessary. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying. All right. Anyone else under public comment? <laughs> 